What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, so we did a little bit of training off screen, mainly because we wanted to evolve our Eevee, since it's daytime and I already spoiled it for you guys that I wanted to actually evolve my Eevee into a Espeon. It didn't really work out because, uh, what, Eevee was like at level 24 when we left off? 23? I don't know, remind me guys. But yes, it was at a level 24 and I... You know, traded eight levels and still nothing, and only learned new, one new move, and that was Bite, which is, I guess, it's gonna be helpful for us for our next, uh, our next battle. And in the process, I was training all my other Pokemon too. Um, so in this battle, or in this gym battle right here, we're gonna be taking on the Ghost type gym leader Morty, and this is actually a very, uh, a very first uh, for any kind of Ghost type Pokemon right here in Generation Two. Yeah, it's gonna be used as a, uh, a gym specialist or, or specialty or whatever I don't know I'm all over the place so here we are at Critique City gym now we can go in here and talk to this guy and he's like the trainers here have secret mo uh, motives if you win they may tell you some deep secrets about Ecrotech hmm I think we already know the history of Ecrotech it's just I'm following along right here so now the biggest thing right here is that there's a big black void right here it's there for a reason you don't know what's what but if you step the wrong way right here if you try to avoid this guy bam you go back so technically you have to battle everybody so make sure to follow everything now going up against ghost type Pokemon in generation one there was only one weakness to it and that was ghost type I guess I could be wrong and there were only three guy ghost type Pokemon which was Ghastly, Haunter and Gengar so they were poison type to a Pokemon too so psychic type Pokemon are in there it's basically the same thing here not a lot of changes there is one new addition to the ghost type lineage um, hmm, there's another difference oh yes dark type Pokemon if you guys don't know dark type Pokemon are very very good against uh, ghost type Pokemon so let's go ahead and battle one of these guys and let me show you what I mean so here he goes can you inflict any damage on our ghost on our Pokemon I think I can I was just explaining that to everybody right now. So, here we go. Taking on a Sage. His name is Ping. I am the Pong. Ping Pong. Here we go. Coming out with a Ghastly. And unfortunately, we don't have a Psychic-type Pokemon yet. But I do have a Dark-type move. So, let's go ahead and use that Bite Attack. Since it's now a Dark-type move in Generation 2. So, here we go. Toxie Batman. Getting that Bite. And it's over with. Look at that. 300 experience points. See? Easy. Easy. Just so easy. Huh. Okay, so he's got four more Pokemon. So I'm going to share the wealth right here. I have, I guess, four different types of Pokemon that actually have a Dark-type move right here. So I'm going to go with Relic. This guy's still coming out with Ghastly. And, and I'm still crossing my fingers that, you know, Relic will evolve at some point. And here we go with another bite. Level 32 versus level 16. I may have over-leveled it, but I really want that Espeon. And look at that. Easy. More experience points for all of us right here. And uh, it's going to come out with another Ghastly. So let's go ahead and show off all our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Lucky right here. Now, if you don't have any kind of Psychic type or, or Dark type Pokemon moves, you can always use special attacks. Any kind of physical attack uh, inflicted on a Ghastly Haunter or Gengar, even Mischievous, won't work. So let's go with a Ice Punch. But there's that Spite attack. Here we go with the Ice Punch, and that, it, it inflicts a lot, so remember, a lot of special types moves, but here's another new Ghost type move, Spite, which reduces the uh, the PP of whatever move you just used last, like my Ice Punch right here, so here we go, Ice Punch again, that finishes off our Ghastly, and more experience points right there, I'm happy about that, so he's got two more Ghastlies, he might have a Gengar, or a Haunter in there. So I'm gonna go with Teddy right here. Now this Teddy is the perfect Pokemon for this gym right here because it's a normal type Pokemon. Normal types can't inflict anything on ghost types. Ghost types can't inflict anything on normal types. But Teddy right here has a faint attack which is a very very powerful dark type move and it cannot miss. See what I mean? Look at that. Oh yeah. Teddy you're kicking some butt right here. Good job. Good job. Way to go. So he's gonna come out with one more Ghastly, and um, let's go. Let's give it to Kid Thunder right here. Kid Thunder still needs some more experience. 
course, I did train just a little bit for the uh, for this bit for this battle right here too. So here we go, Kid Thunder. Let's go with Thunder Punch. Yeah, look at that, Kid Thunder just destroying everybody. Nearly grows another level right there. So we defeated Sage Ping. He's like, ah, well done. And I got 512 Poke Dollars. And oh, would you look at this? Wow. So after a good while. Our Golbat is finally evolving into a Crobat right here, and this is all because it's been very, very happy with us. I tried to prevent it from uh, fainting and everything. That's one of my main things. So here it is, guys. Our newest Pokemon, Crobat. It's a very fast Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and check out our new Pokemon. So, Golbat, or, you know, Toxie Batman, barely evolved into a Golbat. But the thing was, when I was, uh, when I was you know, going through uh, through this whole uh, day day by day kind of thing I was going to the haircut people right here and I was actually uh, giving a uh, toxic Batman a haircut every single day except for like what well, maybe Monday and Sunday that's when they don't come in but yes it has been extremely happy with me not only that but if you put it in the front of your uh, your your team right here it actually gets more more happiness just because you know it's on the front of the team so as you can see right here crowbat the flying slash poison type Pokemon it still has the same moves right here, but look at this. Its stats go through the roof. Its speed is very, very big right there. So this is a very, very big uh, addition to our team. I just realized that, you know, our Zubat evolved into Golbat one level and then Toxie or Crobat the next level. So that was pretty quick right there. So now I'm going to switch it off to Cinder right here. Now, again, follow, follow what I do right here because any step, any step you do right here, Above anything or you know any kind of step you do it will actually lead you back to the front of the of the gym right here so this is what we got to do go right here go upstairs and you'll be facing this later right here she's like stumped by our our invisible floor defeat me and I defeat me if you want a hint little do you realize that I got a smartphone and uh, I'm actually looking over it so here we go medium grace wants to take us on she's coming out with a haunter Okay, bring it. Just bring it. So, Cinder. Let's go with that Ember attack right here. Of course, I did train Cinder as well while I was training uh, Relic. Ugh. Relic, you are going to be a tough one to, to, to train right here. So, that Spite attack takes a little bit from us. I'm not going to use any of these moves because I think they're physical attacks and you don't really, you can't really hurt a Haunter with that kind of stuff. So, here we go again with one more Ember attack. And there's that 550 uh, or 540 experience points. Coming out with another Haunter. Let's go. Let's stick with Cinder right now. All right, Cinder. You know what to do. Flame this guy out. Destroy him. Ember attack. And uh, no, that doesn't take. Oh wow. So this is gonna be bad for us because it just took a huge chunk out of our our, our Ember attack right here. Now in Generation Two. Ghost types are given just a little bit more in, in attacks, and uh, I would have to say they're like manipulating attacks right here. Like you got curse, spite, those kinds of attacks are not not that cool. And uh, yeah, nobody evolves right here, so we already got that down. Let's go and switch it to Teddy right here. I want Teddy to get some more loving. So again, follow follow our our, our lead right here. So all you got to do now is go straight forward. And up top, and here we go again with another uh, sage. And he's like, I spent the spring with my Pokemon. With, then the summer. Then summer, fall, and winter. Then spring came again. We have lived for, uh, together for a very long time. You, okay, I didn't really want to hear that, you know. He just told us his whole life story. So here we go. Sage Jeffrey wants to battle us. And he's going to come out with his Haunter. Perfect. All right, bring it on, and it's a very powerful Haunter right here. So, Fate Attack, and there's that Mean Look Attack, which will prevent us from escaping now. So now it's just Teddy versus the Haunter right here. And no, that did not make him faint. I can always go with Rollout. Hell, I even got a, a Ghost type move right here. So let's go with a little bit of a lick. And wow. So. <laughs> we just won like that. Curse attack. Wow. Okay, so 
He's like, wins and losses. I experienced both. You just did self-suicide, bro. Oh my god. The Pokemon world is one weird place. Okay. Follow my lead, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Up top. And let me just switch it out to Relic right here. I still want to evolve him. And here we go with one more medium. She's going to be like, I shall win. See? Short and crisp, to the point. I respect those ladies with that. Okay, so here he comes, Martha, and she will be sending out her ghastly. Too scary. Looks like a black hole with a farting, or I don't know. Let's go with that bite attack. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm lucky that I got that uh, bite attack in time. And she's coming, coming out with a haunt, so let's just... Let's just test out the waters right here. See if uh, my relic can actually do a, uh, do a good job against this haunt right here. And that bite attack finishes him off one hit KO. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to keep him right there. Should have kept the haunt for last. I don't know why you're going over the ghastly. And let's finish him off with a bite attack. And that is it. Ghastly is down for the count. Relic. Grows to level 33. And, uh, okay. Alright. Defeated Martha, and she's like, I, I, I lost. Yes, you did. And nobody evolves. Jesus. Okay, so it's gonna be a while, guys. It's gonna be a huge while. So, now the final step right here people usually go up top just to get to uh, Morty. What you need to do is take one step left, one step up, and there you go. You are with Morty. So, what I'm going to do right here is, I'm going to switch it off. Hmm. Who should I switch it off to? You know what, let's test out to Toxie Batman. We never, be well, it just evolved into Crobat. We just want to, we want to try, we want to test him out right here. So, let's go ahead and take on this dude right here. So, good of you to come. Here in the Ecotech Pokemon, or here in Ecotech Pokemon have been revered. It is said that a rainbow-colored Pokemon will c come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that uh, tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Really, you can't? Like that bad haircut you got? Just a bit more. With a little more, I can see a future in which I meet the Pokemon of rainbow colors. You're going to help me reach that level. Okay, so that is this is why you're a Pokemon gym leader, right? I don't know. So here it is, guys, another Pokemon gym battle, and this is against gym leader Morty, and he'll be coming out with a gas lamp. Look at that. The black hole that farts a lot. Toxie Batman, look at that. Okay, so the next screen right here, as you can see, gym leader Morty, ghost type gym leader. Best way to defeat his ghost type Pokemon right now is through psychic type Pokemon, dark type Pokemon, and and other ghost type Pokemon as well. He does start off with a Ghastly at level 21, then a Haunter level 21, a Gengar at level 25, and another Haunter at level 23. All of these Pokemon, well, his Gengar does have a Shadow Ball attack, which is a very, very powerful ghost type move. Be aware of their hypnosis because they will try to mess with you if falling asleep with that um, Dream Eater attack, as well as that Lick attack. Be aware of that. Like I said early on, they like to manipulate your power points or your HP with uh, with either Spite or Curse, so just be aware of that. So here we go back into the screen. Let's go ahead and use that Bite Attack. Oh yeah, Toxie Batman. Destroying Ghastly. Just like that. Look at that. One powerful Bat Pokemon right there. That is Batman. So he's coming out with a Haunter. So let's go straight to... Let's go to, let's go to Teddy. Teddy... Teddy's got this. Teddy's a bear, a teddy bear. No ghost is gonna scare my teddy bear. So here we go, teddy bear, teddy, with a faint attack, and, well, I got screwed over right there with the, I got screwed over with that hypnosis. So, I got a few berries right here, thankfully. I went through the days, and uh, come on. I gotta have one berry right here that could, could wake my Pokemon up. No, I don't. I don't? Ice bear, no. Jesus H. Christ. Okay, so I am a little screwed right here. And this, if I'm not mistaken, this Haunter right here does have, um, 
No, it doesn't have a Dream Eater attack, so he's gonna try, try and attack me. So I'm gonna go with that Fiend attack. And no, it's gonna use Curse, which will, of course, yeah, it will take some of my HP, as you can see. So as as long as I'm asleep and this Pokemon doesn't, uh, oh, never mind. Just realize this, guys. Curse is just like Toxic Attack. Every single turn, it gets worse and worse. There's no, uh, there's no antidote or any kind of healing item for that. All you got to do is switch out. So that is exactly what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to switch it out to my Cinder. All right, Gengar, bring it on. Moving its dick just like that. Look at that. He's like, yeah. Big dick is here, and here comes Cinder. Let's go with an Ember attack. Now it's a special attack, working like a charm right there. And uh, wow. So now I really have to be uh, be aware of this because this Pokemon does have Dream Eater, and it could, yeah, it just it's gonna heal himself right now. Oh crud. Oh crud. Okay, so that that that's bad. So. Let's go ahead and switch it out to... Where are you? Where are you? Oh yeah, there you are. Let's go to Relic right here. So normal type Pokemon will not be affected by this Ghost type. And yeah, just wasted a Dream Eater. So let's go with that bite. You missed. Be aware that Gengars are pretty fast as well. And that bite attack just takes a huge chunk out of Gengar. Just like that. Cinder grows to level 31. And he's trying to learn Flame Wheel, finally! Okay, I got the move that I need to get rid of. Ember attack. Don't really need that anymore. And here we go with a flame wheel. A move that we've been waiting for for quite some time. And here he comes out with a haunter. So let's finish it off. I know, I know. Let's go with Kid Thunder right here. The fastest Pokemon on my team. Well, no, I'm just playing. That's Toxie Batman. One of the fastest Pokemon on my team against his fast Pokemon. Let's go with a Thunder Punch. Mmm. Takes a huge chunk out of his uh of his HP, and that is bad. Okay, so we we gotta beat him by the next two turns right here, or else he's gonna spite me away. And yes, there's no way out of this battle now. So let's finish him off right here with a thunder punch for the win. Say goodbye to Hunter. Looking at Kid Thunder wins. Fatality. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. You're ju you've just been defeated. I'm not good enough yet. All right, this badge is yours. Thank you. Alrighty, so we received the Fog Badge. Take a look at it in all its glory. Four badges, I think. Yes, four badges. By having a Fog Badge, Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you. Also, Pokemon that know Surf will be able to use that move anytime. I want you to have this too. The prestigious. TM30, which is a Shadow Ball. It causes damage and it may reduce special defense. Use it if you if it appeals to you. It does because I do have one Pokemon that I can use it for. So let's talk to him one more time. I see. Your journey has taken you far away to far away places. And you have witnessed much more than I. I envy you for that. Bro, you're like a few years older than me. You could have just like left this place, you know? I don't know. Okay, see you guys right here. Look at that. Shortcut back. Let's take a look at our name right here. He's like the gym. Of course, the winning trainer is Draven. And talk to this man. He's like, whoa, Draven. You did great. I was cowering, or I was cowering in the corner out for pure terror. Wow. Ghost type Pokemon. Are they really that scary? Okay, so that's pretty much it for our, um, you know, our adventure right here in Ecrotech City. Now, you do have two choices. You can go to the west of, of Ecrotech City and go to Mahogany Town, or you can go to the east and continue on to what Sinewood City. Um, what was the other one? Sinewood City. Yeah, all those towns around that area. Can't remember the. What was the next? What was the name of that town? Shoot. And I got a phone call from uh, Alan. Oh great. Picked up something nice. You can have it. Route 36. You know what? Let's go ahead and finish it off with going over there. Okay, so we're going to Route 36 right here. I'm going to finish it off. And I'm not going through the grass right here. I made a big mistake. Of course, Pokemon. Should have just left it off with the, like with the, on a strong note right there. Instead of 
going after these people. And yes, I did train against all these Pokemon. Growlithe in general, you know, giving us a lot of experience points. I believe he's going to give us a Firestone or something? I don't know. Let's see. There he is. This is this, this, this is yours. Ta-da! And yes, we got a Firestone. So if we would have had a Growlithe on our team, it would have been easy for us just to evolve him right here and then. So... That's one guy that can give you a, uh, a ele elemental stone. And, uh, yeah, there's plenty of uh, others out there. Um, so that's pretty much it right there. And, uh, well, we just gotta get away from this guy right here. Yeah, it's this Pidgey. Oh, God. Leave me alone. Okay. Okay, so I just remember the name of the town right here. Alright, we're done. So again, you can go west to Agritech City, east to Olivine City, to Cyanwood City to as, as well. So the choice is going to be in the next episode, guys. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Pokemon Crystal. See you guys.